Welcome to another Cool Blind Tech Podcast. I'm James Oates, and today I will be showing you how to set up and configure Siri in macOS Sierra. Now, Siri has been an important part of Apple's mobile devices for quite some time, but it now has been brought to the Macintosh computer with the new operating system that Apple has released called macOS Sierra. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to uh, set up and configure Siri on your Mac. I am doing this as a video podcast as well. So please inform me if there are any changes you'd like me to make to make this easier to view for our low vision listeners. I also need to let you know that voiceover uh, up to now has always required you to press control option and then the navigation keys. And you needed third-party applications to make the caps lock key a voiceover key. That is no longer the case in macOS Sierra. Apple has now made voiceover key, uh, control option, or caps lock, and that is set up by default. You can go into your voiceover utilities and decide which one you'd prefer to have. You could have either caps lock or control option, or you can just leave it as the default where both work as the voiceover key. During this podcast, I will just be saying voiceover when I'm referring to the voiceover key, and it's up to you to decide whether you want to use caps lock or control option. All right, to start off, I'm going to go into the, I'm on my desktop, and I'm going to go into the Apple menu by pressing voiceover M. Menu bar, Apple. You are currently. I'm going to arrow down to system preferences. Apple menu about this Mac. System preferences ellipse. And I'll press uh, voiceover space bar. Closing menu, system preferences, system preferences window, toolbar. I'm in a toolbar, so I'm going to tab to get out of that. Leaving toolbar. General button. And I'm looking for Siri, which will be near the bottom. So I'm just going to use voiceover end to go to the bottom. If you don't have an end key, you can use function right arrow as an end key. Accessibility button. And I'm going to use voiceover left arrow to get to Siri. Time machine. Date and time. Siri button. You are. And I'm going to press voiceover space bar. Loading Siri window. You are currently on a toolbar. To inter- I'm on a toolbar again, so I'll tab to get out of that. Leaving toolbar item palette. Enable Siri. Check checkbox. You are currently on it. And we have a checkbox that says enable Siri. So that's the first thing you'll need to do is check that. And I'm going to use voiceover right arrow to navigate to the screen. Siri helps you get things done just by asking. Find files on your Mac. Dictate a note. Check the weather and more. You are currently on a text element. Language. You are currently on a text element. I'm just voiceover right arrowing. English. United States. Language. Pop-up button. And there's a pop-up button where you can choose your language, and mine is English United States. If you wish to change it, you press voiceover spacebar and then navigate up and down and select the one you want. Siri voice. You are currently on a text element. And voiceover right arrowing again. American female pop-up button. And here's another pop-up button, and the voice is American female is the one I have selected, but you could press that pop-up button and choose American male, Australian male or female, UK, Irish. Uh, Not all languages are available in Siri, and not all languages have a male or female option. I'm going to continue with voice over right arrow. Voice feedback. You are currently on a text element. On. Selected. Radio button. One of two. And here you choose whether you want Siri to give voice feedback, or you just want it to display on the screen. I have it on. If I continue to voice over right arrow, you'll see off will be the next, ob- the next item. Off. Radio button. Two of two. Mic input. You are currently on a text element. And here's your mic input. You decide which microphone you want Siri to listen to. Line in menu button. You are currently. And I have line in selected, but if you wanted to select a different mic, you would press this menu button and select a different one. Keyboard shortcut. You are currently. And now next is keyboard shortcut. Hold command space. Pop up button. The default is command space. Uh, Command space, if you just press it and let it go, will bring up spotlight search. But if you press it and hold it down, uh, you'll get a Siri feedback noise, and then you can speak to Siri. Um, But if you don't want that to be your activation keystroke for Siri, you can press this pop-up button and change it. Um, There are uh, other options like option, spacebar, and you can, of course, customize any keyboard stroke you wish. So, for example, option C, you could make uh, your Siri activation command. I'm just leaving it here as the default, which is command spacebar. And I'm going to continue to voice over arrow. Click the Siri icon in the menu bar or in the dock to talk to Siri, or choose a keyboard shortcut above. You are currently on a text element. Show Siri in menu bar. Check checkbox. And here you can decide whether you want Siri to appear in your menu bar. Uh, sometimes your menu bar can get quite cluttered, so you might not want it to appear there. About Siri and privacy button. You are currently help button. 
And that's the end. So we're going to uh, exit out of this window now. Finder, desktop, quick time recording. And just press Command W to close the window. All right, now if you want Siri to work uh, as far as local uh, issues go, so if you want to know what the weather's like in your local area, how to find things that are nearby, you need to have location services turned on and you have to give Siri permission to access those location services. So I'm going to take you back into the system preferences menu and show you how to give Siri permission to access local permissions. All right, so I'm going to use voice over M. Menu bar, Apple. You are currently on a menu. I'm going to arrow down to System Preferences. Apple menu about this Mac. System Preferences ellipse. And I'll press Voice over Spacebar. Closing menu. System Preferences. System Preferences window. Toolbar. And I'll tab out of that toolbar. Leaving toolbar. General button. I'm just going to press the letter S to go to Security and Privacy. Security and Privacy button. And I'll press Voice over Spacebar again. Loading Security and Privacy window. Toolbar. You are currently on. I'm going to Toolbar again, so I'll press Tab. Leaving Toolbar item palette. Privacy, selected, tab, 404. And there are four tabs here. The one you want selected is the Privacy tab, and that is the one I have selected. I'm going to press Voice over right arrow to navigate through the screen. Privacy categories, table, location services, selected. You are and this is a table. To get in the table, you press Voice over Shift down arrow, and you want to select Location Services, which is the one that's already selected, so I don't need to do that. I'll press Voice over right arrow again. Enable Location Services, dim check, checkbox. And then you need to enable location services, otherwise Siri can't access it. Uh, it's saying dimmed because you have to uh, unlock uh, your system with your administrative password to make changes. And I've already made the changes, so I'm not going to uh, demonstrate that here. I'm just showing you what needs to be activated. I'm going to continue with voice over right arrow. Allow the apps and services below to determine your location. You are currently on a text element. Table, no selection. You are currently on a table. And here's a table that you need to interact with, so we'll use voice over shift down arrow. Table. In table, no selection, row one of two. You are currently on a cell four right. And I'm going to do voice over left arrow. Siri and dictation, dim check checkbox, dim image. And here's Siri and dictation. You would need to check this, uh, otherwise Siri and dictation cannot access your uh, local system. And now I'm going to get out of this table by pressing voice over shift up arrow. And I'll do voice over right arrow to continue navigating the screen. Indicates an app that has requested your location within the last two four hours. Image. I'm continuing. You are currently on an image. Indicates an app that has requested about location services and privacy button. And I'm continuing to move with voice over right arrow. Click the lock to make changes button. And here's the click the lock to make changes. So if you wanted to um, enable all these things, enable location services, give Siri and dictation permission to access them, um, you'd have to uh, unlock it first and enter your password and then make the changes, and then I would recommend strongly you lock it back again so that no other applications or outside sources can interfere with your privacy settings. All right, I'm going to close this window by pressing Command-W. Finder, desktop, QuickTime recordings folder. You and are I just want to, on the folder. And I'm going to check and make sure that Siri is working locally by asking what's the weather like. So I'm going to press Command-Spacebar and hold it down until I hear the Siri sound. Weather like. Here's the forecast for today. All right, it didn't give me an audio feedback. It just showed it to me in the window. So I'm going to try it one more time. Weather like today. Here's the weather today. All right, so sometimes it does. I've had it give it to me before. Uh, let me ask it uh, what the time is. What time is it? At the tone, the time will be 4.08 p.m. Beep. <laughs> All right, so uh, it seems like there's some uh, some times when Siri gives you uh, feedback, and sometimes it just shows it to you in the window up in the top right corner of the screen. Um, usually I get feedback on the weather. All right, so that is how you set up and configure Siri on the Mac. Um, if you have any further questions, you can contact us, cbt at coolblindtech.com. You can email me directly, james at coolblindtech.com. And of course, follow us on Twitter at CoolBlindTech. Once again, thank you for listening and following along with our video podcast today. And I will talk to you again very soon.